Now we'll discuss different types of uh, cloud projects. What are the different types of cloud pro projects here? There will be a mainly four different types of cloud projects we'll find. There will be a four different types of projects. One is implementation, another one is customization, another one is support, another one is upgrade, support or maintenance, support or maintenance. So there will be a four different types of projects in the cloud environment four different types of projects in the cloud environment here. First, we'll discuss about implementation projects. What is implementation project? Implementation project is nothing but, this is common for all, either finance or human capital management or supply chain management. We take any domain, this is common. CRM, CRM very few clients, we don't find much, okay. So implementation project is nothing but your client is not using Fusion applications so far. Very first time, the client is going to use this product. Very first time, client is going to use this project. We call it, use this application, sorry, Fusion applications product. Very first time, whenever you are doing this application, configuration to your client. We call it as an implementation. Here, work will be started right from the scratch. You have involved in the implementation means, indirectly, you have the complete idea of in and out. When I say in and out, what needs to be started first, then what needs to be loaded, then what needs to be specified, this all uh, must be clear in the sequence order. For example, if you want to go for load the invoices, first you have to load suppliers, right? Without supplier, I cannot create invoice. Without payment term, I cannot create invoice, right? So for example, I want to load invoices. First supplier needs to be loaded. Then payment terms needs to be created. Then currency needs to be configured. Then ledger needs to be configured. Business units needs to be configured. Distribution sets needs to be configured. Then invoice currency conversion rates in case if you are loading foreign currency information. Legal entity needs to be created. These all are the dependency objects, right? So if you involve in the implementation project, what happened? The solution architect, very high level persons, senior consultants will design the hierarchy of data loading, data doing setups and testing and uh, when they try to you know, deliver this application to the client, different levels, they'll be involving in that. So that's what we call it as implementation. So most of the times when you go for an interview, they'll be asking you, how many implementations you have involved end to end? One or two, not more than that. Generally when you apply as four years of experience consultant, as a team member, maximum two implementations will get an opportunity in the cloud environment, two or three, not more than that. Okay, so that's an implementation project. Very first time, if your client is using this product, then we call it as an implementation. So far, your client might be using some other applications. They might be using some .NET application, Java application, or some other desktop applications to maintain their business transactions. So that will be integrated here that will be integrated here. The information will be integrated over here it is. That's what we call it as an implementation projects. Next, customization projects will be there. Customization means the product is already implemented. The product is already implemented, but client would like to make some changes. Let's say in 2021 itself, the product has already implemented. Now uh, the client wants to have some more customizations. 
So then the customizations will come into the picture. Some changes. That's a customization project. Support or maintenance project. This is, may, this is required for every client. For example, let's say when I, when I say your client is Sony Corporation, is your client, and they have purchased the license from Oracle, we call it as a subscription. When, when we are working in cloud environment, we call it as a subscription, not the license. Of course, we can use the license word also, but generally when we say cloud, we will use subscription, okay? So let's say your client has subscribed for Oracle Fusion Supply Chain Management Cloud. They have subscribed. And they given this project to TCS, Tata Consultancy Services. So the client has first, they got the, pro, they got the license from Oracle, Oracle Fusion Cloud Access and subscription. Then they given this project to TCS. Now TCS has implemented this project from January 2021 to December 2021, one year. They took one year time and they have implemented successfully. Generally after implementation, one month or 15 days, there will be a timing for testing. So if there is any problem in the application configurations, they'll go for uh, fix that issues within the uh, time frame. Right. After that, if client would like to go for, if the client would like to go for, you know, uh, maintenance and support, then they'll again continue the next level project. So that will be a, that will be a support or maintenance. There will be a tickets rising. The client, for example, client is trying to do the global transfer, but it's not happening. What is the problem? He will raise a ticket. Client means end user. When, when the manager, transactional user, trying to do some global transfer, it's not happening. What is the reason behind that? Or he's trying to pull all uh, 25 employees from one manager to another manager. Let's say manager has changed. Earlier manager was working. He has resigned. He left the company. And new manager has joined. Under this manager, there were 25 members are working. Now we have to change the manager for all these 25 members. I cannot go one by one, right? I cannot go to uh, every employee and update. So what I have to do now, I have to assign this new manager to all these 25 members. Generally, we use the option called mass update. When we go for mass update, uh, out of 25, there are two employees, which is not changed. 23 is okay. 23 employees successfully, manager name has changed. So two members, they are facing issue, they'll raise a ticket. Not able to change the manager name in mass update. They'll raise a ticket. For ticket rising, they'll be using the software called Jira, most of the clients. Our service now. You can say any one of this. If you have a time, you can go through the YouTube Basic information about Jira. Basic information. We don't need in-depth of that. Again, there are some number of you know uh, projects and uh, tutorials and all. just what is Jira, how the tickets will be raised. You can spend a couple of hours, not more than that. Even service now also. Yes. You will find some idea. Okay, so when you are working in the supporting projects, when you say in the interview point of view, I'm working in support project, definitely they'll ask you, what is the procedure? How you will be receiving the work? From whom you are going to receive the work? Okay, so this is all questions will ask. So generally when we are working in the supporting projects, the client directly will assign the work. So client means our end user or business user, they'll go for raise the ticket. For raising the ticket, some clients will use uh, ServiceNow tool, some clients will use uh, Jira tool, and uh, some clients will use their own ticketing tools. There are a number of ticketing tools are there. It's up to the client's requirement what they want to use. We can say any one of this, okay? So they'll go for raise the 
ticket here and uh, the, directly you will receive an email id with the ticket number and uh, high priority is it a high priority or low or medium or CVRD 1, CVRD 2, CVRD 3, CVRD 4 or 5. CVRD 1 means within hours we have to resolve the issue. Otherwise, this business will be impact. They will be mentioning business impact also. Business impact means how many employees are not able to work because of this issue or how many hours the business is going to be stopped because of this issue. For example, I'm trying to create invoice. It's not working. There is some accounting error I'm getting. So invoice creation is a very regular procedure across the branches. So it's a senior CVRT one. So we have to take it as a CVRT. For example, when I try to do some currency conversions, it's taking wrong number. It is supposed to take dollar to rupee 79, but it's taking 84. So what could be the reason? or some interest calculation is wrong. It is supposed to calculate the interest 2.5 for a particular customer, but it is taking three. It is only for that customer, it's not that much impact. So CVRT three like that, okay? So when we are working in the projects called supporting projects, definitely this type of issues will be come. Directly will be receiving an email, so-and-so ticket has raised for you. Then what we have to do, we have to take that ticket number, log into that particular tool and search. Then there will be a description. There will be a thread continuation. Today you will update, okay, I'm working in progress. And you will put some comment, started working. End of the day, again, you have to go for update. In progress, 80% completed. Then again, in progress, 100% completed, testing. Like this status needs to be maintained that. So generally when you join in the supporting project, some senior person or team leader will guide you one or two hours, what is the procedure for ticketing and how we have to receive the tickets and where do we have to check and how we have to reply. When you are replying, what are the fields we are supposed to take this all information we are going to find out okay so this is about the supporting project then upgrade project is nothing but as i said every quarter the new upgrade new update will come right every quarter you are going to get a new update so in the first quarter you have done some setups and what Oracle is telling, we have released the second quarter update. So whatever the setups we have done, those things needs to be migrated or upgraded to the next, next quarter, to the next quarter here. Okay, so once you go for upgrade or migrate from this quarter to this quarter, okay, Again, we are supposed to cross-check whether those things are working or not. That's why testing people are required nowadays. Fusion applications, so testing people also, they are going to recruit. It won't take much time for the client. Whatever the setups are done here, again, needs to be tested. Same thing again next quarter, same thing next quarter. So upgrade, we don't find much complexity. It will be just one week of work, not more than that. Because there will be a sequence of, you know, uh, testing things needs to be done. Some junior level consultant can easily go there and test whether it's working or not. These things can be done. It is. So that's what we call it as uh, different types of projects. When you are applying for a job, you can mention that I have been involved last four years in implementation and support. Out of four projects, for example, you mentioned in your resume that four projects. Out of four, we can say two end-to-end -end life cycle implementation and two support projects. Okay, in implementation, what is your role? Let's say I'm working as finance consultant or procurement consultant. Then you have to be clear with that particular model right from the scratch, what setups needs to be done in the sequence order and how we are supposed to test those setups, nothing but uh, transactionals. For example, you configured uh, in procurement model requisition approvals. How will you test? You are supposed to create multiple requisitions 
and then go for rise uh, the approval notifications you are getting or not or your manager is getting or not if you approve the requisition whether it's updating again here or not this all supposed to be tested maybe you have mentioned 20 different rules different conditions then obviously you have to prepare the test cases manual test cases okay so those test cases will be applied it means create a requisition greater than ten thousand dollars and test it whether the approval notification is going for manager or not create a requisition for more than fifty thousand dollars test it whether the approval hierarchy is going for group of people or not like that there will be a different scenarios that we are supposed to test it okay so that's implementation and support projects we can say in our projects so this is about the second one what are different types of cloud projects we have and uh, how we are going to work in this environments what is our option here it is and what are the different types of roles in the cloud projects okay so we'll be discussing that in the next session about roles in the cloud projects okay this is our youtube channel please subscribe to this to get all these updates next level thank you